Hi guys, it's Stacy. I'm back to share another journal with you. This is a hardcover journal. It's made with the technique that I learned from Nick the Booksmith. It's made with a heavy board, so it's the heavy wood board. It's eight and three quarters by five and three quarters, and it has a two and a half inch spine. And I've used this batik fabric. I love batik fabric. I have a huge amount of it, so you're gonna see a lot of batik. <laughs> Uh, in the journals that I'm making right now and of course these uh, charms are inspired by Johanna I have this one's got a key it says life it's got like little glass beads it has real pieces of amethyst as well some wings little flowers this says dream this one's my favorite that little daisy type flower there there's a little heart and I'll just do a flip through here make sure I'm in frame <clears throat> this doesn't have um, it's not embellished so it's just filled with lots of good papers and images from Daphne's diary and the flow paper pack for paper lovers this is just some Tim Holtz paper um, this was the outside of a, a local gallery here in town had a, a an event flyer and this was somebody local's quilt, and they'd used the image of it for the outside of the flyer, and I thought it was gorgeous, so I used it inside here. This is from Daphne's diary. Just tried to pick out pieces that had lots of blues and pinks. There are some greens and stuff in here as well, and then just a library card. This is, uh, this is actually from The Flow, and I have done a little bit of stitching, but it's basically just perfect for junk journaling there are a few little bits and pieces that tuck and stuff in here but it's pretty much unembellished vintage book pages scrapbook paper some old ledger old atlas paper there's some coffee dyed papers there's of course some Daffy's diary that makes really nice backgrounds for when you're junk journaling Here's a vintage book page and I turned it into a pocket in the center here. So it's just lots of collection of papers. I added a few little bits that I thought went really nice. And I did collage over some like adver advertisements or you know some sort of sayings or whatever there just to keep the page simple for doing what you feel like you want to do with it. And this is an old book page from an old Rocky Mountain book that I had. And I managed to uh, find a pretty image there that went really well. Some old music paper. I did a little bit of stitching there. <clears throat> I have a lot of these covers made. So if you guys want to see more of this style, just let me know because the covers are all ready. Um, all different styles of the batik fabric. I can, there's a pocket there. I can easily uh, fill them up with gorgeous papers. Um, this, uh, uh, my friend Alice, hi Alice from Rosie Journal. She makes custom journals. I will link her below. She makes this size of journal and lots of really, really neat papers inside of hers as well. I don't do custom journals, but I usually just kind of do what I feel inspired to do, but she does do custom journals and she has um, painted covers as well. This is a pocket, it's an envelope. There's another little piece there and there's nothing in these. This is my favorite style of journal and I'm actually, it took me a while after I made this to decide to actually list it. I can't keep everything, but this was, there's a really old ledger. I just love this paper. I just did a little bit of washi tape there. There's old book pages too. Really pretty florals. This is a piece of vellum. This is some watercolor paper I got from Liz. Thank you, Liz. It went really well with this, this note paper that I had in my stash from years ago. Turned it into a little pocket in the center again, but it really matched well. I love the papers in this. Like I said, I had a hard time listing it. It's already listed in my shop, so if anybody is interested, 
maybe get it before I change my mind. Oops. Let's see. This is an old scrapbook paper I had. Some of this is from Hobby Lobby. I just have a huge stash of beautiful papers and Daphne's diary. This is another Daphne's diary. And uh, they just, they're just too pretty to sit there. They have to be used. So they make great backgrounds. Another pocket. So there's tons of room in here to really make this your own and embellish and do your junk journaling, journal with me and type things. There's a little bit of washi that I had there. And I still have a fair amount of white space to, uh, to put your own papers in there. spot there. This has another pocket. And there's the back. I didn't have enough of this paper so I did collage over this piece here and I thought it looked really neat. The colors all went nice. Well that's it and it has lots of room to grow. Even though it has seven signatures it's it does give you lots of room to really make that your own so and I really love the technique uh, that Nick taught and it makes for a really sturdy book and it is with the hollow back binding so it does lay flat. So. Okay guys, if you want to see more of this, like I said, just leave, shoot me a comment and I can put together some more. I've got lots of these type of covers already and if you're looking for a custom um, journal of this type, like a painted cover, I'm going to check out the link below for Alice at Rosie Journal and she does fantastic work. I have one of her journals and I'm going to show it off one of these days when I fully, you know, get my journal finished. It's almost there. So, all right guys, take care. Thanks.